Hey folks, 828 Find Adventure here. I got some WeatherTech sunshades for the Toyota Tundra. It's a full-size truck with lots of windows that produce lots of heat in the summer. And these sunshades should work great. So let's go check it out. So I was looking around the WeatherTech website they sell all kinds of car and truck accessories, even for vans, and they're all really good quality. And I kind of zeroed in on these sunshades, and I decided to get some. So why did I get the sunshades that box the sun out of every window in the car? Truthfully, in my case, it was only for the side window sun protection. I didn't need the rear window shade since I have a topper. And the front, while nice, takes up a lot of room when it comes to storing it in your vehicle. I will get most of my use from the side window shades, but if I left my vehicle in open sun for a whole day in the desert, I would definitely use the front as well. They block out lots of sun, almost all of it. I'm going to show you what I got and how to install it, along with some issues I had. I will also show you how to store these in your vehicle and what I use to do that. Remember, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. It helps other YouTube viewers find my videos and I really appreciate it, so thanks. So these are the WeatherTech sun shields for the windows of your vehicle. Now these are for the Toyota Tundra. The Tundra's got lots of glass. I also got this bag to store them in you have to pay extra for that. I think it should be included. But this is a very high quality product. I'm kind of looking at it going, well, this isn't going to store real well. But let's check it out anyways. On one side, it is shiny black. It has a cutout for my Toyota Safety Sense. And on the other side, it is mirrored like a spaceship. More so than those typical sun shields that you see for your windshield. So let's go install this thing. This should be, this should be fun. It is gigantic. It is rolled up. not too bad if I was using two hands. All right, let's finish this thing up and I'll come back to it. It definitely fits tight. You don't even have to fold the visors down, but it is difficult to get in the front windshield of the Tundra. If you had to do it one-handed, you'd just give up. Two-handed, it won't be so bad, but you will move the move your mirror and get it out of adjustment. Since I have phone mounts and an iPad mount in my truck, it made it a little more difficult. For keeping the heat out, this is gonna, I mean, it's amazing. It really blocks out a lot of heat. So let's check out the side windows. So let's go ahead and put in the driver's, driver's front. That works great. Fits really tight, really snug. Amazing. Nobody will be able to see in. I love those. Now it does come with one for the rear window of the cab. I don't need that since I have a truck topper on here with mirrored uh, tint. That's a static clean tint I put inside the topper. But if you just had a, had the regular pickup truck without the topper, 
the rear window would definitely need to be covered and it comes with that. Okay, let's do the rear passenger. They are all clearly marked, passenger rear. Again, they are each marked for the window they are supposed to go to. Using two hands is so much easier, they go right in. They really work. It is really dark in here and it's keeping all the sun out. Now, since I have a dash cam, it is creating a, a bulge in the front. So take that into account when I show you the finished product. Now taking them out, of course, they have these little tabs sewn onto each one. You can just pull them out just like that. Here's the other tab. Let's grab it. It's got a little loop on it. Now I just have to figure out a good storage plan to uh, store these. Maybe behind the seat or under it. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. To store these, you can just roll them up. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna roll them up, and then I'm gonna cut a little piece of Velcro and go around them. Just like so. And then I can flatten them out under this car seat. So they'll always be handy. That. I can put this one under the seat. This one's for the rear window. I can just put right there. So it'll be easy to get to if the passenger needs to. While I'm here, I'll go ahead and do the driver's side. Driver's side. Let me get the driver's side passenger. And that will be all done. And we'll be good to go. All right. There we have it. Perfect. Well, folks, I hope you like my video on the WeatherTech sunshades for the full-size truck. You can also get them for cars and vans and all kinds of things. 
WeatherTech sells a lot of high quality products and you know, you should go check them out if you're looking for something. I'm not talking like super expensive or super crazy priced. They just make really good quality and they always have. They're usually known for their floor mats, but they make other things as well. And I've been pretty happy with it. Anyways, if you would, and you like the video, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. I've got more videos coming on the truck, mountain bikes, fishing, camping, you name it. I've got a lot coming to 828 Find Adventure, so I will see you later. See ya.